Hello guys and good morning. Welcome back to another vlog for the Gunter series. Today we are doing something a little bit different. We are traveling outside of Gunter to I think a district called Dada. And we are meeting up with some family and not too sure exactly what we're getting up to. Mm, so we've had the privilege to be guided to one of the locations that they own. I think it's a estate. And I think they're just going to show us around and all the activities that they get up to. So we are quite excited and let's make our way and explore. So we've made it to our first destination, or well the actual destination. So right now we're on Kim's uh, uncle's Uncle. estate. And I mean, it's gorgeous here. It's beautiful, he has so much rice fields. And prior to this, we visited his first uh, place, which is closer to his home. Um, and that was amazing. There was rice fields. We had to take motorbikes out onto um, to go check out the other fishing lake, which is a little bit smaller. So we've made our way here, which is bigger. Yeah. And I think we might try our luck with some fish and um, we'll take you guys around and show you guys. Mm. After that, I think they've prepared dinner for us. I'm not sure what we're going to have tonight for dinner, um, but I know that we're going to have beer, a lot of beer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're already talking about it and it's only 10.30 and they're talking about having the first beer, so I guess they're just doing what they generally would do and it's really nice experience for sure. This is wild, so you just only need to noong it for five minutes very quickly and it's so hot watching, they're just grabbing more leaves to pile on top and I can't wait to try the fish. Alright, so Kim's uncle has called out to us from across the field and he's called out and said these fruit here are ready to be eaten. Not ready, not ready. Not ready, just some. Not ready to be eaten. So this is sabo chair. And it looks incredible. Sabo chair go Mexico. Mexico. Oh. I didn't realize Mexico had sabo chair. But it's yeah. We've had sabo chair before. We had it in one of our Buying uh, videos where we had sabo chair sindol. And that was delicious. Uh in but not Buying. Oh I mean sorry. <laughs> Jabantan videos. But yeah, really nice fruit. Vũ sữa của Hoàng Kim. Vũ sữa? Oh. Hoàng Kim. Đây. What's vũ sữa again? Mangosteen? Mangosteen. Yeah, so it's a type of mangosteen. Wow, hi Nhiêu Hoa. Wow. <laughs> Interesting, a different type yellow. And we're just picking it now so we can try it. Wow. 
This is really fun. This is durian trees as well. Whoa. And yeah. Wow. Two dogs and they've named them Pepsi and is it Coca or Cola? Cola. Cola. <laughs> and they're so adorable. So like we said, they've prepared a whole lot. So we've got Tiger Back, which is Tiger Silver, and that's four slabs. And then there's also another five slabs in the back of the car. <laughs> so there's a lot of weird stuff happening. We're just spotting foods that we might be eating tonight, and now we're spotted and I'm so nervous. Rats, I've never had rats. Gio once had it once, and we were considering trying it in King Yuan. But they had this uh, issue where they were poisoning the rats, so we thought maybe it was unhealthy uh, to eat. But we are trying it here today. There's also frog, um, the gallop, which is not that strange. I've had that before, and I'm not too sure what else. But right now, my main concern is this rat, and oh, it's being deep fried, which might mean that it might taste a little bit better. But I don't know. The whole thing is just making me feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> was gonna be. Seriously. Can you have Oh, this one's so big. Wow. Wow. Hi, Wow. 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 I'm not entirely sure. That's so cool. That claw is massive as well, look at it. I believe, I'm not sure if that's the original claw. Oh no, that's the... So, the, when the claw is bigger, I think it's when it grows back, it's twice the size. Alright, so the karaoke set has come. Um, apparently, it was supposed to be just one box, but... As you can see, there's five or six boxes, and uh, apparently it can be quite loud, so all the neighbors might hear. Neighbors about two kilometers down the road might hear. <laughs> I'm really nervous actually. I mean, when they were, um, when the rat was not cooked yet, it looks okay, like honestly. But now that it's been cooked and there's the liver and all the you know, guts and such, um, it's making me quite nervous. But it kind of looks like a quail, so that makes me feel a bit better, like because the head is gone. But I mean, I guess it's the first time trying something and you know, knowing what it is, it freaks you out. It's like that's how we tried frog or tikkan, huh? Yeah, I mean, just the thought process behind it, it scares you. But I mean, don't let the fears get to you. Yeah. I'm used to it. I mean, oh, I've gosh. had this before, so I know exactly what I'm in for. Mm. But for Kim, I'm excited yeah. for her expression. And I, I never thought I would try it. Honestly, I have this bit of like this uh, ball in my throat because I just feel nervous mm. and I feel a bit sick just even thinking about it. But we'll step aside just so we can get a moment because uh, it's quite loud as well. And we will be trying it. As you guys know, Vietnamese parties here are loud. There's no indoor outdoor voices. It is all outdoor voices. And crazy, but it's not even midday yet. We're getting started. We've already had our first sip of beer. They're setting up the karaoke set and everyone's just feasting on all sorts of weird foods. Rats, frogs, you know, um, the lamb and all that as well. I mean, I'm gonna give you a look at this before we get started. 
But I mean, it is apparently a delicacy here. And I mean, I'm with it. It smells incredible, actually. It just smells like. Chicken. It smells like freshly fried quail. Yeah, it's that's just true. quail. And the meat's looking alright. I just grabbed a small piece as well as you, and here we go. My Very first good. time. Yum. That's delicious. Wow. Exactly like quail. Yeah. Only thing like is, quail. we need to dip it in something because obviously it's just been fried. Yeah, what do you usually? What's it usually paired with? Usually, if you grill it, um, salt and chili is really good. But fried with nick mum fish sauce. Well, really good. I feel a bit strange saying this. Dion did say that, you know, after two bites, you're gonna love it. And honestly, I'm actually liking it. I'm so shocked. Yeah. Behind the camera, Kim was so scared. She was freaking. She was like, oh my god, I'm scared about this. I'm gonna have one bite, I'm gonna throw it up, or I'm gonna throw it away. I told her, any bet, two bites into this, you're gonna love this. It's exactly like quail. It's softer than quail. There's more meat than quail as well. It's mm. a little oily, which is good. Super, super tasty. What? So, usually you're supposed to have fish sauce. I brought over some fish sauce. But I know what I'm gonna do is I brought over a soup, a soup spoon of fish sauce. I might just dip it in. So all Kim's aunties have come around and they've looked at us strangely thinking that we've done it wrong. So we're going to put, yes, the green mango. It's a sour one. It was a huge one before and then the fish sauce. The fish sauce is a ginger fish sauce? Oh no, sorry, garlic. Garlic fish sauce. I'm gonna try it again. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna use my fingers. I'll use my fingers. But I'm just gonna dip mine into the bowl. I'm gonna try this. Alright. I'm being a bit messy here. <laughs> we are in the country. Let's go get it. That's so good. What? That's so good. It's a, exactly like no, quail. Quail, sorry, with fish sauce. Mm -hmm. Fish sauce makes it, I mean, a little bit easier to eat. Mm -hmm. But still really good. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. Tell you what's weird about this as well is by grabbing the little legs and really getting into the meat. That was like the scariest part. No, for me it's fine so far. But I guess yeah, when you work in the legs it's fine. But maybe the rest of the other body would be a little bit more strange or some of the other textures. But no. I actually like it. I don't feel too grossed out. I feel grossed out more when I thought I was when we first tried the frog. That I think because of the texture of the skin oh, yeah. and the way that it looks, it's just really uh, different. But this is not too strange actually, because we do eat quail and I guess, you know, hopi lom, which is the uh, duck balut, so nothing too weird. But I guess I would say I would never thought I would try a rat in my life. And I guess now that we have an audience and we were doing this for you guys, it is a great experience, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying this lifestyle. I So far, I'm enjoying the lifestyle here in Kung Tao. And you know the foods that they get up to and eat, especially like jiao and all the kind of organs and stuff. Yeah. This is like natural for us. And this is an incredible day. All the families gathered and uh, we're out in the you know a little bit more rural side of Gangto in uh, Gona. And uh, Gona, sorry. And uh, everyone's gathering. All the neighbors are coming over, and it's going to be an epic night. I mean, it's not even midday yet, but it's epic already. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try the gallop and I've wrapped it up in rice and roll. Well, actually, my dad's done it for me because the table is quite squishy. I'm sitting with the men today because I am drinking beer and let's try it. Mm. It's so fresh. This skin? Wow. Oh, really good. Did this store? <laughs> wow. The fish seasoned well. A bit salty. Crispy on the outside. You're not meant to eat the skin so much. Um, and it's just perfect. It's so juicy.
is and wow what an incredible day it was we didn't know what we were getting up to we were told by the aunties and uncles that we we're going out to another district out of Gangta. it took us about 40 minutes to an hour and um wow we ate lots of wild foods we had an incredible time we started drinking before midday and we have just we're still going we're still going <laughs> honestly i'll let you know that we are a little bit tipsy but we're ending the video here and we hope you guys enjoyed it so thank you so much for your support please don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and we will see you in the next one yeah,